Hello, my name is Christine Holmes Mason of ChristineHolmesMason.com and I am going to share with you just a little bit on the upcoming Restorative Modulation School of Healing. And so what does it cover? What all is it going to be covering? Well, first of all, I'm going to share with you and take you on a journey uh, that started about six years ago uh, when my husband transitioned to heaven. And I'm going to share with you the process that the Lord took me through, uh, bringing me through uh, his transition. And so it was about two years after that that I was diagnosed uh, also with breast cancer. And thank you, Jesus, I'm totally healed today of breast cancer. And I'm going to take you on that journey as well and how the Lord uh, literally walked me through that process. And I'm going to share with you many... Uh, secrets, many things that um, are not known to your average everyday person, but I'm going to share with you many things that I learned along the way, many secrets, uh, things that were secrets to me definitely, uh, things about nutrition and uh, things that can help and aid in the healing of you or a loved one and what to do if you ever get a diagnosis of breast cancer or heart disease or diabetes or any other uh, major illness. And so we'll talk about that. We'll talk about some of the things that happen that have transpired over the years as I've traveled to different parts of the world sharing my story. It's been amazing. It's been absolutely magnificent. Uh, some of the healings that have taken place, even as I've just shared my story and my testimony. I was at a service in uh, Indonesia a few years back. And while I was in that service, just sharing the testimony of what transition would happen with my husband, there was a man that was in the service that uh, was an older man that literally screamed out and put his hand on his heart and he screamed out, my son, my son. And everyone in the church turned around and looked at him because this is an Asian man and uh, customarily, um, they're not uh, going to share with you that kind of private information in a public setting. And so everyone was really shocked at his uh, display of emotion. And immediately I called him up and we prayed for him and he received an instant healing. He received healing from hurt that had been uh, a part of his life for many years and he was able to get relief from grief. And so this is something that has been happening over and over again, as I've shared my testimony. Many others have been able to get relief from grief. I was recently at a uh, seminar here in the Jacksonville area, and there was a speaker that was speaking. I had the opportunity of meeting him, and he is a writer of over 30 books on the topic of grief. And um, it was very... Um, very uh, enlightening uh, to meet with him and to be a part of the seminar that he um, was speaking at. And so there are some of the things that I picked up from that seminar that I'll be sharing as well to help people through the process of grief, as well as things that I have learned in my process and walking through my journey. And there are things in terms of healing, in terms of nutrition. I lost 60 pounds in six months when I walked through um, my diagnosis of breast cancer. And those are things that I want to share with people because uh, there are major things that can be done to avoid illness and there are major things that can be done to uh, aid in terms of healing if you are ever diagnosed with a major illness. And so there are things like superfoods and there are things like um, certain times of the day when you sleep uh, that are called the healing hours. So these are things I'll be talking about as well as being able to say no. Uh, no can be a very anointed word and a lot of times people have a hard time saying no. So I'll talk about those kinds of things and other things that people deal with that um, either lead them into depression or um, can bring them out of depression. And so it will be loaded. It will not just cover one area, but it will literally cover many different areas that will promote and bring forth healing in the lives of an individual. And so um, I'm looking forward to it. It will be coming up. This particular healing school will be coming up at the beginning of the year in February. February, um, February 10th is what I want to say. February 10th. Um, 
it will be coming up. It is February 10th or February 11th, but it's February 10th, I believe. And uh, it will be coming up uh, in the month of February and it will go all the way through, it's eight sessions, will go all the way through the month of March. And so I do look forward to you participating, uh, you being a part of the Modulation Restorative School of Healing. Uh, for additional information, you can send an email to spreadthewealth at msn.com. And you can also go to um, www.christineholmesmason.com. Looking forward to hearing from you and you being a part of the actual uh, School of Healing. This school is going to be very interactive. It's going to be on a platform where everyone is going to be able to see one another. Yes, we'll all be able to see your beautiful face for those of you who choose to show your face. Uh, if not, you can show a picture, but it will be a very non-threatening environment where everyone will be able to have the opportunity to express themselves. And so we are looking forward to the upcoming uh, School of Healing that's uh, going to be taking place in the month of February. And so looking forward to seeing you uh, very soon. God bless you all.